here I am making the cutest picture frame I've ever made. This is out of acrylic and I use my Glowforge to engrave and to cut. The coolest factor about this is that is a Spotify code that with your camera in a Spotify app, it'll play the song that you've selected. So I think this is a super cute Valentine's Day gift or like a friend gift. And let me show you how I made it. First thing you need is a membership to Creative Fabrica. So many great ideas. I use this constantly. So I have unlimited downloads and there's all sorts of ideas um, for about any type of project that you're working on. And once you have that membership, which is on sale significantly right now, it's unlimited downloads. So go check out my bio for that promo code. Um, it is well worth it, all the fonts and all of the design ideas that you can get throughout the year. So this is the download that I used, this um, song plaque with stand. Now I modified it a little bit, but um, isn't it adorable? So download this file. And the good thing about this file is it does give you a couple options in terms of the size. So if you're a Glowforge user, you're well accustomed to understanding the precision it uh, needs to make sure that everything fits together. And I'll show you um, down the road exactly how I modified it just a little bit. Okay, so then the next step is making sure that you have the Spotify PNG so that you can use it for your design. So you're gonna go to Spotify and you're gonna find the song that you want it to link. You don't have to add this element. In fact, this element is not added on that download. So this is something that I added when I modified it. But when you go to and you find the song, you click the three little dots there um, underneath that image and you're gonna hit share because you need to find the link. You have to copy that link. So once you've copied that link, you're gonna go over to Spotify codes, just Google it. This is free. You're gonna put in the Spotify code and then it's gonna generate the image that you need. And it will automatically give you a CVG. You can also do a PNG, but this little code um, with the logo and those sound bars is exactly what it's gonna create for you. So you're gonna download that and then you're gonna be able to use that in your image. And again, this component was not part of that download. I added it to make mine a little bit different, but this is what I've seen on others and I think it's adorable. Okay, so even though I'm gonna be doing this in my Glowforge, I need to edit it and kind of um, modify some of the pieces. So I use my Silhouette software, but you can use any number of pieces of software um, to do the things that I'm about to do. I just am sort of used to the Silhouette software, so I'll use that. Sometimes I might use Illustrator, sometimes I use Canva Pro. There's also a link in my bio for the um, discount off of the Canva Pro, which you can make CVGs with the Pro account. So you kind of go in here and modify it. The first thing you have to do with this download is you have to remove those squares because that's where you're going to put the name of the song and the artist if you're choosing to. Then you're going to take that other download that you created with those codes and I'm going to just remove the background. It comes in this way so it can easily be deleted and because you don't want any extra image so that the Glowforge machine doesn't get confused. So copy that Spotify code and then you're going to place it. Oh, I forgot a little piece. You're going to place it right uh, where you want it on your uh, acrylic or wood. That's what I'm working on next is doing a wood version of this. And then I added the name of the song. You could add the name of the couple that this is for um, or just leave it the way it is. Okay, so I'm just making sure this is exactly where I want it. The other modification I did to this design is I removed uh, the square that is there. I ended up uh, making it a separate element so that I could score it. So now I'm gonna select the fonts that I want for the words that are gonna put on the, um, on the piece. And from the Silhouette software, I'm gonna save this design as a CVG so that I can bring it into my Glowforge software. Now I didn't record this part, but once I put it into the Glowforge um, online app, I just made sure everything fit. I selected the speeds. I'm still getting used to knowing what speeds to use. Um, I use a lot of kind of default settings at first and doing a lot of testing. And then I sent it to my Glowforge. And I will tell you, I haven't done a lot of acrylic, but it smells like a nail salon because it's just burning, cutting acrylic. So make sure you're venting properly, which I do. So anyways, look how awesome. So this took, I think about maybe 15, 20 minutes. Um, there's not a lot of engraving. 
so the little bit of scoring I did in the cutting and so this particular acrylic which is a really great quality acrylic um, does have a double coating so I have to remove the coating off of it and then I have to pick out just the little bits of coating that are in the uh, engraved areas that aren't really detailed. Doesn't it look so good? I'm so happy with this. So the second part that I modified was kind of how it stands. I didn't really like the tabs. I didn't feel that it was really sitting very well. So I modified this design to include one long tab. And then the bonus is, is that it would be easy to send to someone because you, I mean, you really don't have to glue it. The way I've cut this and the way it fits in, it can be two pieces and it leans against itself. So it works out really good. So I just have to remove the protective coating, which is way more important on acrylic than it is on wood, but it's important on wood for the overburn, but for the acrylic, you want to protect it from uh, scratches, but it sits right in there and I think it looks really cute and I'm really happy with it. I've got to find a picture for it and then it'll be all done.